What is going on guys? Will Morton here bring guys a brand new video. Today's gonna be a different type of video. It's gonna be a little bit of just a lot of talking. So stick around because I think you're gonna find some cool stuff in this one. You have seen on the bottom of my YouTube descriptions, if you see them, that I say this is a product of Will Morris Productions. Now, while that is true, and I call that everything I do is under Will Morris Productions, it has never really meant anything and more is like a joke, half joke, half truth. Over the last week I have began the planning and research to make Will Morris Productions an official LLC. The plan is for that to be an official thing within the next year. This is a couple of hills and valleys I have to go through to get to that point. But once I get to that point, I do plan going into spring, summer of next year that Will Morris Productions will be an official company that I'll be running. This video is going to kind of introduce what's coming with that. So now you'll have seen on social media, Will Morris Productions has been my Instagram handle for my secondary Instagram for probably a couple years now and it is officially the Instagram handle and Twitter handle that will be the official anything I do will be put through there whether that's film music YouTube whatever happens that comes from my creative side will be advertised through that I'm doing many things right now spread very wide among the different creative ventures I'm going through. I thought it'd be fun to introduce the new branches, as I say, of Will Morris Productions. I'm not going to name any of these official companies because that's just a lot to do, but I have already reserved the Instagram and Twitter handles for these to exist, so I thought I'd make a video talking about what they are in case you see them and you're like, why does that have Will Morris's name on it and what does it mean? So first we'll start off with Will Morris Recordings. Will Morris Recordings was the first of all these that is in active use right now. Uh, if you listen to any of my music on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Google Play, you'll notice that underneath it all it says Will Morris Recordings. That is my official music branch or company, whatever you want to call it. It uh, houses all my music in public music publishing name, if you want to call it that. My distributor is Ditto Music. My music publishing name is Will Morris Recordings. So that's just what it is. Um, typically, artists use their name with recordings, just so it's like a branding thing. And so there's multiple Will Morris's out there doing music. We all know I'm the best one of all of them. It's okay. We all know it's the truth. We have Will Morris Recordings. It's been in use, but you can officially find the Instagram and Twitter handles for that now. On those, I'll be posting more updates regarding my music. You see maybe new lyrics. Maybe little videos of me in the studio, pictures in the studio. I just want to use these Instagram and Twitter handles to just show more into my process of developing these different projects. Next is Dynamite Sports Network. Now some of you who know me know Dynamite sounds very familiar because you know that was my nickname through school from football. And I thought what would be a better way to call a sports network I wanted to create than the Dynamite Sports Network, or it's just gonna be abbreviated DSN. I'm really excited about this. This one is also in active use. It is the official showrunner of Commander Station, the show covering the Washington Commanders. And not anytime soon, but over time, I do plan for this to also cover the NFL as a whole, the Phoenix Suns, because if you don't know, the Phoenix Suns are my favorite NBA team, and I'm a pretty uh, diehard fan of the Phoenix Suns. I wanna cover them, also cover the NBA, and also probably cover uh, some college sports, college football mainly, and focus probably on Liberty because that's where I do go to school, as well as some other schools. And the plan is that down the road, I won't do any of these shows. Maybe the only one I would do is Commander Station, but to bring other people in and they will host their own shows and talk about what they want to talk about. So that is the Dynamite Sports Network. You can also find that Twitter and Instagram handle now, and that will also be the advertisement for my Commander Station videos, anything else I do sports related. And you can also follow the Commander Station page on Instagram now. Next is Mary Oaks Films. This one right now is not in active use, but it will be soon. You know, I have a lot of new music coming out. And with that, I've said many new music videos. So any new music video that is created under my music will officially be part of Mary Oaks Films, especially because it is leading to a bigger project this summer. It will be the first official film of Mary Oaks Films. And next year, next spring slash summer, you'll be getting a new film from Mary Oaks Films that uh, is in pre-production right now, working on a script. It's going to be a crazy one. I hope you all are excited for that. Mary Oaks Films, where does that name come from? I grew up on a farm called Mary Oaks Farm, and that's what I've grown up my whole life, and I feel like it's just important to me that I call some one branch of this Mary Oaks, 
and I have a logo that I plan to get designed pretty soon. So I hope you all are excited for that. It really means a lot to have my home be a part of me going forward. Next is Purple Wave Studios. This is the one that may or may never be in active development, but the Instagram handle and Twitter handle for it exists, as do as they do also for Mario's films. Purple Wave Studios will be anything I do with television. Purple Wave comes from a crazy dream I had where a purple wave was taking over the world. Don't ask me why. I don't know. It was just a dream I had. It was significant. So I just said, you know what? It stuck with me for over a year now. Let's make it a name for one of the studios. So that is Purple Wave Studios. I hope to do something in television one day, whether that is acting, producing, directing, writing, whatever I do. I hope to make it something with Purple Wave Studios. And Purple Wave Studios also could have a little bit of a combination with what I do with YouTube. So it could go either way. And the last one is one that, that I was debating whether to create or not. And it is 64 Publishing. This will be any book that I do going forward. If I were to do a book, which I highly doubt it. But if I were. Also music. Technically music needs publishers. I have with Morse Recordings. But also would like to have an official publisher behind it. Um, or distributor beyond Ditto Music, like where I take control of my music and take control of when it gets released. And when that happens, 64 Publishing will be the name behind that. 64, if you don't know, comes from my old jersey number. I love it. Anything that I do, I like to have 64 be a part of it. I'm excited to bring 64 Publishing and really have this name carry its legacy on further with me. That will also have its own Twitter and Instagram handle. So this video isn't really jam-packed. It's not much new happening. But this is stuff that will be popping up on Twitter and Instagram and all these pages will have more updates coming, more in-depth looks into my music making, my filmmaking, anything I do going forward, I just want to show more. And for the YouTube videos, they just kind of lay under Will Morris Productions because Will Morris YouTube is kind of its own thing. It's a culmination of all of this together. Like there's not going to be a YouTube channel for each of these branches. It's hard enough growing one YouTube channel. I'm not going to try to grow multiple. There's only two YouTube channels of mine that exist that are official. That is Will Morris and another one. I'm not going to say the name of it. Let's just say it's a sub thing under Will Morris Recordings. It has something to do with music of mine. But I'm never going to say what it is. I want you to find it. My camera's not recording so I want to just record this last little bit here. But the whole idea behind this video is I'm a firm believer in preparing and setting up for my future rather than waiting for my future to get here. So a big part of that is creating these Instagram and Twitter handles for all these different branches that may or may never even come into fruition, but rather just go ahead and have them so no one can come across my way and take it before I can get it. And with the creation of Wilmore's Productions becoming an official thing soon, I'm excited for it, and I'm excited for what my future has next in store. There's so much I'm working on, so much that I'm planning right now, and I'm so excited for the future, and I hope you guys will be excited and go on this journey with me. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so down below. So the idea below behind all this is to... Every single time I'm a brand new video to the channel, and have a great day. Follow these pages, and my name is Will Morris, and I'm out. Peace.